Hello and welcome back to the Musical Instrument Investigator and again we find ourselves uh, looking at the Vichy Enchère auction this is the last one this is the one which finishes on the 18th of March so 16th of March was the auction of some instruments and wood for making instruments auction on the 17th was bowed stringed instruments and bows and this one on the 18th is also bowed stringed instruments and bows as before have a look over the terms and conditions looks like 24 percent buyers premium on top of the hammer price all sorts of other things this auction is based in france so bear in mind if you're abroad or outside of europe there'll be other charges do read over everything if you're interested in uh, bidding and i'll put the link in the description so without further ado once again uh they're trying to kill us with like almost 400 lots uh probably mostly mere violins um as per the last auction but let's see if we can find anything interesting and let's try and not uh kill ourselves and keep it going too long but yeah let's see what they have in this auction they've certainly got a lot of stuff so as you can see the numbering starts off a bit like a second part of the auction so yeah without further ado let's see so early 20th century violin bearing the label fiorini many restorations to the table so let's have a quick look it's quite a nice figure at the back okay ah three quarter mirror violin excellent and a 20th century mirror violin with the double purfling let's just quick have a look at that with the uh magini label obviously with the double purfling yep but normal scroll not the one with the extra turn um then a industrial violin three quarter interesting so they're saying presume like a kind of workshop churned out instrument or a factory one even rather than a workshop uh 20th century cello bearing a label of de Rezi. okay it's quite dark varnish uh mirko violin another mirko violin fairly good condition 359 millimeter back let's just have a quick look okay german 20th century violin amatis label let's just quickly have a look at that so we're not being unfair it looks quite rounded interesting um three quarter mirko again 20th century mirko late 19th century violin with an amatis label so it looks like it has a it says soul break I presume at the at the bottom is that this is that meant to mean a sound post crack not quite sure but anyway uh bum 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 uh quarter violin jtl 20th century mirror violin bearing the renaudin label break on the table and breaks on the bottom restorations okay that's curious let's have a quick look interesting that's a curious little thing isn't it that's an interesting one uh small viola by didier nicolas made in mirror core about 1820 that's worth looking at a bit more still wishing that they had pictures of the front of the scroll i like that's a nice flame on the uh on the neck uh 20th century violin from the eastern regions with a rue jerry label looks like the varnish is a bit interesting on that one miracle 20th century miracle 20th century german violin 20th century with the schuster label let's just quickly have a look at that many restorations 360 back it's quite big 20th century miracle 20th century miracle actually let's just quickly have a look at that another one with the magini label but without double purfling uh 20th century miracle uh, 20th century with bert lazy label okay uh check industrial three quarter violin by jtl let's just quickly look because we skip past all of these normally and yeah uh german violin early 20th century marchetti it's a bit of a three six strings quite long interesting varnish three quarter mirror 20th century mirror 19th century mirror head replaced let's have a look 
Yes, that's not the most inspiring of scrolls. Uh, mere court study violin. Let's let's give them a try. Okay. So bows, J Chill bow, German school bow, signed A Thoma, three quarter cello bow, J Chill bow, Basin bow, Morizor bow, J Chill, Lebert, Morizor, Nicholas Duchesne violin bow, signed Duchesne, uh, without hair or lapping, restored with bone head, rising fracture, sold in collaboration with Kurt Vasque. Okay, that's uh, an interesting bow, isn't it? Interesting head. Restored with a bone head. That is a curiosity indeed. Um, JTL bow, Usha bow, lots of bows, lots of bows, German school bow, German school violin bow, German school bow, Berlin school, yeah, cello bow, JTL bow, signed book of Paris, Manson Silver. Let's have a quick look at this one. Uh, thumb wear, it's, it's a bit wear there. That's interesting. And yep, okay. Uh, back into instruments to call to Mirkor, German 20th century, violin early 20th century, Sumutra label. Let's just quickly have a look at that anyway. Yep, modern industrial cello, 19th century Mirkor, Charles Galliard. Okay, we continue the Mirkor thing, 20th century Mirkor, 20th century Mirkor violin. Uh, JTL workshop, 20th century Mirakor, industrial violin, violin by Maxine Angar, made in Paris in 1908. Okay, interesting pegs. Inter this is an interesting uh, kind of work on the uh, F holes there, the kind of strange, very pronounced kind of fluting, ridged, and interesting chin rest. That's a curious one. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of that. Uh, anyway, three quarter Mirko, 20th century violin, Longeru. Longeru. Okay, label, no. Uh, 20th century Mirko, Mirko half size, early 20th century, fairly good condition. Okay, yeah, uh, German violin. 20th century Mirko, 19th century viola with a Montagnana uh, label. Okay, interesting playing. Okay, slightly curious. Restorations on the table. 394, it's fairly smallish for a viola. Uh, 20th century Mirko violin, 19th century violin refinished. Some restorations. 358 back. Okay. Probably would have been more interesting without the refinish. Uh, 20th century violin Marchetti, 20th century Mirkor, Lebert Humber workshops, three quarter violin Mirkor, half size Mirkor, gem violin, 20th century Mirkor, half size Mirkor, 20th century Mirkor, Berzen School Viola, three quarter lot, JTL, German School, German School Lebert, Berzen, JTL, random bows. Okay, Pinot, uh, two bows, Berlin School, Viola Bow, Simon School, JTL, uh, Andre Granier Bow. Let's have a look at that. Signed Granier in Marseille, mounted in nickel silver, 49 grams without wick and silk trim, rear head chaps, slight wear on the back, small chip on the rise, good condition. Mm, needs a Bit of attention that one. It's been well used. It might be a good sign, or potentially not. Uh, Bow by Francois Javier Bazar in Abbeville Wood. Nickel, silver, and bone. Okay. Uh, quarter size lot. Cello bow, Bazan bow, load of bows. Um, violin from Eastern Europe with a Soretta label. Three quarter Mirko, 20th century Mirko, three quarter Mirko, 20th century Mirko. Let's just quickly have a look at that. Bring label Jean Pico, Master Luthien Algiers, 1954. Break on the table. Okay. Interesting. Uh, do, 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 20th century Mirko, 20th century Mirko, violin bearing the Pisa Miglio label. 
20 century miracle, three quarter miracle, 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 miracle. Britain, small three quarter cello, miracle, but that looks kind of more interesting. Uh, fairly good condition, very wide grain uh, spruce there, isn't it? Very wide. Yeah, it's not the finest wood choice, but nevertheless, interesting. 20th century miracle, German half step cello, 20th century. Uh, Mirko, fine in German school, fine in early 20th century, fairly good condition, 359 back. Okay. Uh, JTL, another Mirko, another JTL, German with a Scarampella label or brand even. No, Mirko, 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 yeah, JTL bow lot revert german school old leather violin case why not let's have a look at that it's very coffin case isn't it um ba -ba -ba -ba. two lots of bows jtl bow 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 here we go let's look at this france fire lot uh 52 grams we went fine garnish chip filled in the head small stick knot so somewhere there's a knot I don't know if it's going to be there. Interesting. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Um, RE France, another buzz in half, three quarter lot, JT elbow, Nicholas Harmon's violin bow stick, um, 1830, back and bust at the same period, 57 grams, rod and knot, and small chips at the back, chips on the rise, good condition. Okay. Uh, back into instruments, 20th century Mirko, Mirko, uh, Mirko, three quarter Mirko, half 20th century cello, violin with no information at all. Okay. Uh, three quarter JTL, Mirko, violin like 19th century. Okay. Mirko. Cello three quarter, violin with two bows, without value. Okay, so the bows have no value, just so you know. Um, violin German school. Okay, nineteenth century miracle. Let's just have a look at that anyway. Yeah. Okay. Cello three quarter miracle. Twentieth century miracle violin. Three quarter violin. 20th century miracle violin violin half german school miracle violin early 20th century another miracle violin um a violin with the lupo label okay uh miracle violin around 1870 from the school of grand jean okay uh cello With a rugged table, a Mugino label. Yeah, that's interesting. Non ebony uh, fingerboard there. 20th century miracle, three quarter miracle, 20th century miracle, 20th century miracle, half size miracle. Okay, violin, late 18th century with a uh, Landolphus label. Some restorations with the core break at the bottom. Okay, there you go, estimate 1000. It's a bit of an investment for someone, a bit of restoration work. Uh, German school cello bow, Bazan workshop, Morizor, uh, violin bow, industrial cello bow, foreign industrial cello bow, uh, Morizor bow, circa 1950, uh, made for a de Blay, 54 grams, forget not, splinters on the rise and damaged slides, small wear on the thumb, fairly good condition. Okay, let's see. Uh, ba 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 ba, Emile Clasqui, Lebert, violin bow from Frechner, 20 random bows, violin bow stick from the Simon School, Hoya Workshop violin bow, viola bow stick from Pajot School. Let's quickly have a look at this, it's a bit different. Exotic wood with back and button from save period, 63 grams with light garnish, lashes at the start of the wand. 
Slits on the rise, part of the side of the rise, small chips on the rise, good condition. This instrument is more than 100 years old. Okay, interesting wood choice. Uh, modern viola bow, German school cello bow, Joseph Warren violin bow, German school violin bow, German school violin bow. Actually, let's just quickly look at this. Warren, 47 grams, wormhole filled at the collar, chapped wand bottom of the wand good condition let's see if we can see so is that wormhole pulled at the collar okay interesting uh, ba -ba -ba prince cool violin bow stick okay load of bows cello bow for 19th century school circuit 1819 amaret rear rise nickel silver 59 grams okay this is probably one of the more interesting bows so far it's interesting prog okay that's a curious cello bow could be an interesting one needs a bit of a restoration uh Mirko violin again more than three quarter violin 20th century Mirko, half size german Mirko violin uh 10th century violin nl label let's just quickly have a look but a look at a few things at least no uh 20th century Mirko, german violin 20th century violin three quarter uh cello one quarter three quarter mirko 20th century mirko violin from eastern uh europe uh, ba -ba -ba, with label of homolka uh do, 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 mirko three quarter violin lebert mirko 20th century let's have a look at that damaged varnish with holy label okay that's really normal german violin early 11th century i think that is a typo uh fairly good condition that would be an early violin wouldn't it 11th century um okay 20th century violin bearing the hooflack label no german violin early 20th century chirichi label no 20th century miracle industrial cello with label repaired by javier decker broken head miracle violin made around 1900 breaks on the table small traces of worms on the neck i presume i can't see that okay 19th century miracle violin bucci label okay looks like it's had some funny stuff with the button looks like it's been repaired uh ba -ba -ba, three quarter uh da -da violin another libert miracle 20 century so there violin with label vignali re-varnished or re-finished table in fact it's an interesting shape okay uh german half size violin but let's have a look at this one it's getting more interesting fairly good condition okay uh 20th century violin probably miracle let's have a look okay uh 20th century violin with a uh, ragnolo label break on the table as a break on the table no fingerboard uh modern viola from peso no jtl bow three quarters buzzin bow usha school bow no colas bow uh eugene quano uh more bows jtl gm school violin bow buzzin school double bass bow bazan let's have a quick look at this uh amaret wood nickel silver small head and neck blows Rear, rear ring unsoldered ferrule yeah it needs a bit of stuff splinters fairly good condition needs a bit of work there's some stuff going on there uh ba -ba -ba -ba. gilded metal that's a bit horrid uh picat school german school libert half german school violin bow german school violin bow ba -ba -ba. jgl german school but i mean i'm sure they're all very good bows, but they're just not 100 percent interesting uh francois lot uh 1940 mountain nickel silver 50 grams one knot okay that's interesting some of the features there and these lines are a bit interesting we want to have a look a bit more closely at those 
Um, bu, 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 oh, we're back on instruments. Miko again, yeah. Uh, Violin with Gagini label or Gagini. My pronunciation is terrible. Interesting varnish. Uh, violin, late 19th century with Boucher label. Okay. Uh, 20th century violin with a Beziac label. Okay. Uh, Mirko violin, earliest 20th century, Liberté. Violin is Jean Bard, good condition. Okay. 20th century Mirko. Okay, Mirko. Small viola Mirko. Let's have a quick look. Interesting varnish, looks like a lot of funny things. Traces of worm. Excellent. Worm party. Uh, 19th century Mirko violin made in the style of Charot. Some restorations. Okay. Somewhat interesting. German violin with the genie label. It's a double purpling and it's got the extra turn. Okay. Uh, Eastern Europe bovis label. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Didier Nicholas Mirko 1820. Let's have a quick look at this. Okay. 20th century violin Bergonzi label, 20th century Giacchetti label, Mirko Medifino, no, JGL, JGL, Mirko Quarter JGL, um, violin by Paul Hilaire made in Mirko. Okay, let's have a look. Three quarter Mirko, violin probably French, Testore label. Oh, I think we can kind of. No, no, this is a, a new one here. That's kind of curious. That is horrible. Kind of cheek, uh, kind of repair there. Yeah, restored head. That's uh, interesting, but also in a not very nice state, sadly. Uh, 20th century violin, that's all right. Three violins. No, let's have a look at this German violin. 20th century, interesting. Three quarter Mirko, 20th century violin, fairly good condition. It's quite a long length of back there, 363. Okay. Um, 20th century Mirko, set of five violins. Well, I'm sure it's nothing. Oh, God, that's a weird, weird varnish that they've done. Mm, okay, that's a interesting homemade uh, amateur job. That's uh, what a kind of mountain person's kind of fiddle. Uh, interesting. French violin. 359, more than 100 years old. Yeah. Okay. Uh, German school bow. Okay, this is interesting. Violin bow stick Picat school. That's kind of curious. Uh, Marcel Charles Lapier bow stick. Two JTL bows, bazaar bow, loads of bows, bazaar, bazaar, lot half size, Dominique Poisson, let's have a quick look at that. Circa 1900 signed, back and button with the same period, mountain nickel silver, back lunge head disgorgement resumed. Okay. Uh, uh, Orsha, JTL, do 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 do, Orsha, Violin by Eugene Cano, uh, Unsold as Feral, Split Passing, Good Condition. Okay. Ba 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 ba, two bows, JTL bow, Bazaar, Bazaar, Lot, let's quickly have a look at this. That's quite a lot, 1955, made for Gustave Vio, mountain nickel silver, 52 grams, small collet and one blows, light rising blows, good condition. Okay. Uh, three quarter Mirko, uh, violin, 20th century Mirko, 20th century Mirko, 19th century Mirko, rugged table. That's what I like, a good rugged table. That's quite uh, interesting, pleasing enough. Um, violin by Alex, Alexis Malin, made in Mirko about 1820, 1830. Okay, 
doesn't unlock. Uh, what's this? Lot three violins, 20th century miracle. Okay. Okay. Miracle violin, miracle violin, miracle violin. Violin by Francois Breton, miracle 1820. Let's have a quick look at that. Okay. German violin, Steiner, and German violin early 20th century with a Benarius label. Miracle violin early 20th century. A violin Eastern 20th century. Violin probably from the German school 20th century. Lock 2 violin 20th century. Miracle, Miracle, 3 quarter Miracle, JGL Miracle, 20th century Miracle. German violin. Miracle, three quarter miracle, uh, JTL, 20th century violin, Gavines, iron marks. Okay. Miracle, small German viola around, made around 1800. Okay. 381, that is very small viola, indeed. Okay, that's an interesting uh, item. Okay, that's a curious one. Very curious. Okay. Uh, Bubba, 20th century violin, breaking the table. Rupert. Uh, Simon School, Mayor Peugeot, School Bow, JTL Bow, Double Baseball by Noel. Violin Solo Usha, Bazin School, JTL, JTL. Baza Usha, Liberté, More Bows, Placeold. Bausch uh, is a head without mechanics. Why not? Head and neck. Bows. German school bow. JTL bow. Bazin bow. Here, let's have a look at this. Usha. See, nickel silver. Small one on the back of the thumb. Good condition. That doesn't look too bad. Uh, to century, 20th century Mirko, 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 uh, Didier Nicholas, around 1810, okay, yeah. Interesting, it's had some mechanical tuners fitted, and then, yeah, there you go, mechanics on the head. That's a shame, isn't it? That's quite a nice colour and varnish. Uh, ba -ba 20th century Mirko, let's just have a look at it anyway, so we're not horrible to all these Mirko violins. 20th century Mirko, 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 three quarter Mirko, 20th century Mirko, Mirko, three quarter Mirko, yep, Mirko, quarter Mirko, Mirko, let's just look at it because of the varnish. Okay, it's very red. German violin in the 20th century, Mirko half size, violin by Jean Strieberg, made in Mirko 1932. Okay. Three quarter miracle, miracle. Let's have a look at this miracle. Okay, it's had a break there at the button. Very uh, nice looking varnish colour in the back. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Quarter cello, miracle, 20th century miracle. Violin from the Eastern countries. No. Um, Violin A 20th century with the Gonzi label. Okay, it's got some interesting varnish. Uh, 20th century Mirko, violin by Lebert, uh, Moiseau bow, Bazin bow, Bazin bow, Moisot, German school bow, Bazaar, JGL, some bows, German bow, oh, electroacoustic carbon fiber. Uh, Violin vein that Pierre Lawrence uh, okay. mm. looks interesting. More bows, 20th century German school bow. Oh, here we go. This is interesting. Moisel bow, uh, don't imitation rise. Okay, That's curious. Some repair there. Uh, 20th. Uh, Mirko Violin Bow, Abiel Wood, this button, 
violin bow Simon school, set of four bows, Pajot school circa 1845. Let's have a quick look at that. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, JTL bow and a violin bow PC iron mark. Okay, well, uh, once again, like so many things, uh, ridiculous amount of stuff, so much like French bows and French violins as you would expect. Um, not the most exciting thing for me personally, but uh, yeah, interesting auction, like pretty good pictures, good description. I'm sure that they're very well established, probably one of the main ones anyway in France and Europe. So yeah, some interesting stuff. Uh, I think for me personally, uh, I still would like to see a few more pictures of the front of the skull, maybe a few more pictures of the bows, but it's been an interesting auction. Um, I think actually this uh, small uh, German uh, viola, uh, I like this. That, that I mean, that is very small, um, but there's something about it. It's interesting. I like the the kind of the turns in the scroll. Uh, quite like the wood on the back. Yeah, it's an interesting, interesting one. So I think yeah, that's my pick. But yeah, it's a good auction. If you're interested in it, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, have a look. At it. There's so many things to look at and read all the terms and make yourself kind of acquainted with uh, this auction house and this auction. So uh, once again, thanks a lot for watching. Ciao. Bye. Many thanks for tuning in to the Musical Instrument Investigator. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please like. Uh, subscribe and turn on notifications and watch out for the next video coming soon.